Good day, folks. Um, I'm just going to show you some parts I had to get to uh, do a uh, total rebuild of the um, water pump, raw water pump for Yanma 3GM30 uh, engine. Um, so to start with, this is the actual pump the casing. Um, so you can see the inside. Let me just make out in there that wasn't in best of conditions. So I'm gonna use a wire brush to clean it all. Uh, it was a bit of a job to take all the bearings out from there. And then obviously the impeller on this end still needs a reasonable clean. Uh, <clears throat> so the bits that came out. So that's the shaft. Uh, you can see the, where is that, that's the groove for the circlip, which stops the bearing from sliding off one end. Uh, and these are the bearings. So that's the big one, which sits next to the thread. Um, then there is a spacer. That's the spacer that goes there between the two bearings. And then... A circlip which the old one broke so that's the new one um, and then the smaller bearing so they're both this I couldn't get a space out but it's in okay condition it just needs a polish um, so I got these three bits um, so we've got the um, the bearings to, uh, the circlip for the big bearing that's a new one uh, the bigger bearing and the smaller bearing with a circlip so the part numbers for these are the smaller one i think it is that's the part number nsk bearing japanese one and then the bigger one is that part number there so you can go to the bearing shop and ask for those and they'll be hopefully bang on um space i'm going to reuse <coughs> um shaft needs a bit of a clean and then from there on the impeller side these were the old seal that's buggered. You can see the metal o ring inside the seal was rusted. Um, that was the old o ring be below it, and I've got those as well. Now, to help you guys uh, purchase the right parts, so <clears throat> these are the bearings. So, the ones against the arrows, so two bearings, the top one. Uh, number item number 10 20 30 and 40 is what you need two bearings and two circlips yeah and then <clears throat> for the seals <clears throat> these are the three th items you need top one is a seal second one is the o-ring that goes inside the seal and then the o-ring that goes on the shaft yeah there's three ones so those are part numbers um anyway so that's <clears throat> the bits to uh, ready to be assembled after major cleanup and I shall post another video with the completed product alrighty cheers okay the first bearing is on you can see I used that socket long socket to drive it in second bearing is about to go on and you can see the spacer I've used the same spacer sanded it a bit and uh, you can see the circlip just before the spacer that's sitting in the groove on the shaft which is stopping that bearing kind of sliding this way ready okay both bearings are on now um, you can see and space in between that's the bearings from the impeller side this bearing is from the pulley side yep the bigger one and the smaller one Ready. Must have missed that part. Um, trying to work, I uh, couldn't video it. But it, it, as you can see, the new seal is inside. A bit of grease around it and oil. Um, so the way it goes is that o ring there goes in first below that seal, and then the seal with the spring or the o ring side facing out. Yeah facing towards the impeller 
and it goes into that shaft and I used that socket's long socket to gently drive it in and the number on that socket is uh, 19mm yep long socket 19mm that will drive it in pretty much ready for the impella and the pulley now um, yep looking good pump has been assembled um, all ready to be installed back on the boat um, give it a bit of a clean maybe a paint and then uh, yep should be good already <laughs>